So it looks like Ubisoft employees have jumped in on the uh, Activision Blizzard stuff going on. I haven't commented on this. Uh, I like to keep it fairly light here on the channel, but you know, this this is out there. This is out there. This needs to be talked about. This needs to be addressed because this is just ridiculous. I can't believe that we are in 2021. After all the crap we went through in 2020, we are still having to deal with this kind of stuff. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Um, these these people, the sexual misconduct issues at these companies are ridiculous. It's a gaming company for Christ's sakes. It's a video game company, and if you can't if you can't run a fun environment for everybody that works there at a gaming company, you deserve to be out. You deserve to be out. And I know it's pressure. It's a high pressure thing, making video games, billions of dollars are involved and all that kind of stuff. But that doesn't give you the pass to just let anybody run wild in your company and do what they want. Nobody is that inexpendable. No one. At any company. So, <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, Activision Blizzard, Blizzard specifically because Activision owns Blizzard and all that kind of thing. Um just have been railroaded with sexual misconduct uh, allegations and uh, apparently they are all founded and they're all founded because and there is there's more the smoke to the fire the place is in flames basically um, they have halted all production on World of Warcraft um, so that's a thing so I've, I've seen a lot of people and this video is kind of a rant right because you know, I'm, I'm kind of speaking off the cuff. I had some bullet points. I'm throwing them out the window because I'm speaking off the cuff on this because I've got personal experience with this stuff, seeing it happen in real life, and I've had people I care about have to go through it too. It's ridiculous. So whatever side of the fence you fall on in this, if, whether you're one of those people it's like, well, let the facts present themselves. The facts have presented themselves. It's out there, right? There's no denying that there's some bad stuff going on here now Ubisoft is jumping on and apparently there's this real big frat boy environment with these places and you know cat calling making unwanted advances to female co-workers I, I, I haven't read all the details but that's the gist I get from it that they're having to deal with this stuff on the daily at these places instead of focusing on doing their job and making the best game possible for you they also have to think about these assholes they work with coming around and making these unwanted advances and, and being real pieces of shit. And that's what's going on. And, you know, I, I've actually I've actually told a couple of people that I was going to comment on this and they were like, you know, well, I'd be careful because you're starting, uh, you're trying to start a studio and stuff. I don't care. I don't care. People are too careful these days. You got to speak from the heart. You got to tell people how it is. And this is how it is. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable on every level. It is. I mean, whether if you disagree with the fact that this is unacceptable, you need to take a look at yourself. That's a fact. Because people, you know, women, namely in this, but, you know, women, you know, anybody, you know, I, I don't care what reproductive organs you have in your body. If you're a result of something like this, and it is mostly women that have to deal with this, it is ridiculous. It should be about what's up here and what's up here. Trust me, if you're on my team, if you're on my team, I don't care what reproductive organs you have. I don't care how you identify. I don't care what your race is. I don't care what God you worship. I care about what's up here. I care about the drive. If you're intelligent and creative enough and you got the drive, you're on my team. It's the best people for the job. And these women are the best people for the job. That's why they are at these companies and have these jobs. And then you got these losers that come around and make it impossible for them to do their job. This is bullshit. And we, we can't deal with this anymore. We shouldn't be having to read about this anymore. This should be gone. This should be done. As soon as this came up, there should have been an internal investigation and the guy or whoever is responsible should have been gone. That's it. That's it. And this isn't a what team are you on? This isn't a tribalism thing. This is, this is right and wrong. 
This is right and wrong. Get it through your thick heads. This is right and wrong. And I'm sick of being nice about this kind of stuff. And you all should be sick about being nice about this stuff too. I know there's a lot of people out there who are like, man, I, I just want to save face. I don't want to rock the boat. It's time to rock the boat, baby. It's time to rock the boat. It's past time to rock the boat. We need to capsize the boat. Get a new boat. <laughs> Sink the boat and get a new boat. Because this is unacceptable. You know, I don't, I don't care what people think. You know, the facts are what the facts are. And people, creative people in the industry, and in this case, it is women. But it, it's not always the case. Sometimes it's minorities. Sometimes it's like uh, people who weren't given a fair shake because some higher-ups, uh, flunky, douchebag cousin or college roommate needed a job. That's time to go. It's time to go. Because, let, for, for example, let, let me give you an example, right, uh, of what... A lot of these women have to deal with I know for a fact I have a I have a good friend I'm not gonna mention names this happened about five or six years ago she graduated college went to a new city didn't have any friends didn't have any family because this is this is that this is for the people who are like well they should report stuff as soon as it happens well let me give you an example why that doesn't happen okay this is one example of hundreds right she uprooted her life for an opportunity in uh, I believe it was Sacramento because uh, I want to say San Diego, it was Sacramento. Uh, uprooted her life, family, friends, none of that in Sacramento. She didn't know one soul there. She gets there, entry level job, that kind of thing. And basically, uh, she didn't want to rock the boat. But like the, the second week she was there, like people were just picking, trying to pick her up. And more than just like, hey, you want to go out for dinner sometime? Or hey, you know. I think you're kind of cute. Let's go out for dinner sometime. It was more than that. And yeah, I, I get what people say sometimes. It, it, that's not what it was. It was like people like trying to trying to tug on her shirt. Unwanted advances, right? But she didn't say anything because these were coming from people above her. And she just uprooted her life for this opportunity. She didn't want to rock the boat. She didn't want to rock the boat, so she didn't report it. So eventually she did report it. And something got done. But it was like months and months and months of this. It should have never happened to begin with. It should have never happened to begin with. That's one example of hundreds before you people come out and say, well, it just needs to be reported as soon as it happens. Well, that's one reason of hundreds why it doesn't get reported as soon as it happens. You know, I mean, you're, you're after an opportunity. You're trying to do the best you can. So now you're not only having to focus on doing the best job you can with whatever you're trying to do. In this case, it's game design, right? They're trying to make the best games possible. They're doing it because they're a fan of gaming. They're a fan of gaming. They're like us, but they get to make the games. We should be 100% on their side on this. Because not only can they not focus on doing their job, which is being a fan and making games and doing what they love, having the, the rare opportunity to see your dream through, but now they have to worry about navigating these dickheads that they work with. And make no mistake, some of the stuff I read about the Blizzard thing was absolutely disgusting. Like the cube crawls, like if you all haven't read it, read up on that, read up on that. I'm not going to cover it in this video. Absolutely disgusting. Everybody involved with that blizzard should be fired and blackballed from the industry. Yes, that's hard. Yes, that's harsh. Yes, that needs to happen. Because you need to make an example out of people. Examples have to be made. It's time to stop being nice about this stuff. People are too nice. People are too nice these days. Oh, we can't offend that person, can't offend this person. To hell with that. These people need to be made an example of. And I hope it happens. Because they don't need to be working. They don't need to be in a position where they're in charge of other people. If they've let this happen or if they're responsible for it directly. Either one. Those two are interchangeable. If you're responsible for it directly or if you knew about it and let it keep happening. you're, ju you're It's interchangeable. So it, it, it's time to wave bye to this mess. We can't be having this anymore. Kudos to everybody who came out and finally tried to get something done and get the ball rolling on this. Everybody at Ubisoft, everybody at Blizzard especially, who came out and was like, look, I I'm sick of this stuff. You know, this happened to me or this happened to her and I've got her back and, you know, this is the right thing to do. Kudos to everybody out there doing the right thing because, you know, too many times we people just let people sweep things under the rug. Or you or they themselves sweep things under the rug and things don't get done. 
this is how this is how shit gets done, right? And enough of this bullshit mentality of, well, this guy I this, I used to be really cool with back in the day needs a job. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put them in this job. And it's not always a he. It's not always a he. Let's be clear. It's not always a he. Sometimes it's a she, sometimes it's a they, you know what I mean? It's sometimes, but it needs to be what's about up here and what's about right here. Not about what reproductive organs you have or anything like that. It's about what's right here and what's right here. If you've got that, you can be on my team and you should be on anybody's team that wants good product. That's what it comes down to. That's my opinion on this. This is, this is disgusting. I'm glad something's being done about it. I say turn the lights off in the buildings gut the mother and then restart that's it and with people jumping from world of warcraft to final fantasy 14 anyway i mean <laughs> people are jumping off of uh world of warcraft like rats off a sinking ship at this point uh, and they're they're swimming to shore to try and get to final fantasy 14 or other mmos but um yeah this is bad this is a bad look it's not just a bad look it's 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 a bad business it's a bad business they're running and something needs to be done. So I just, I just needed to get that out there. You know, whatever your takes, I, I hope the people on this channel that watch my stuff are with me on this. You know, we, we can have varying opinions on things. I welcome varying opinions on things on this channel. I do. But on this, I really hope the community we've built is agreeing with me on this subject because this is a no gray area subject. You cannot allow wrongdoing to happen to people on your watch, in your company, at all. In your life. In your life. You can't allow people to be treated this way. And shame on these companies for allowing this to happen because it's bullshit. It's bullshit. The time to be nice and the time to not rock the boat is over. It is over. All right? It is time to put this out there. It is time to put these people on blast. It is time to get shit done. If that ruffles feathers, you know what? The feathers you're ruffling are the wrong feathers anyway, so fuck them. That's the way I look at it. Fuck them. If, if this ruffles people's feathers, fuck them. I don't care. I don't care about ruffling. If this upsets people, what I'm saying or what other people are saying about this in solidarity with this, then fuck them because this right here is unacceptable. Anyway, I'm glad something's being done. That's all I'm gonna give you on this today. Y'all have a great day, be safe out there, be good to each other. This goes right in with what I always say, be good to each other. Be safe out there, be good to each other. Be safe out there is exactly what I'm talking about with shit like this. Be safe out there, not just watch both ways before you cross the road. Watch how you interact with people, watch, you know, other people, watch out for other people. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there. And keep rocking, baby. That's part of keeping rocking. Not tolerating shit like this. So anyway, do all those things. We're going to have a good day, all right? <laughs> so anyway, I didn't do the business on this. Y'all know what's up. Up here, down here, all this stuff. This video is not about the business. It's about getting this out there. So anyway, y'all take care, and I will see you all in the next video.